Good morning. I'm going to put the light on. It's not bright enough, is it? That's better. Right, good morning. Yes, um, I want a rainbow. <laughs> Annie Claxton, I've joined her Discord group. It's craziness over there and good fun. Um, yeah, and she had a Saturday Night Live and there was a competition. She was making this, which um, she very thoughtfully sent me the packaging and it's from the range here in the UK it was 2 99 was it Annie yeah 2 99 and it says macrame and as Annie's pointed out or pointed out on the live it's not macrame it's just rope wrapping <laughs> it'd be ideal for kids actually I think I might try and get one because I think my well both my granddaughters would love to do this and it's something really simple that I think they could cope with um, I know she had a few problems with the length of the strings and she's done a cracking job on this. So I'm I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this, Annie, in case you're watching. Um, yeah, and I've got this amazing card. You've inspired me to make cards. <laughs> so thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. See, that's clever. I need to get a stamp. Right. So here is said rainbow. It is not in rainbow colours, as you can obviously see. And um, when I won it, I was absolutely stunned because, as I've said to Annie, I don't I don't win things <laughs> but anyway. So I thought I had a load of teardrop beads. Let me just going to scoot you forward a bit. I thought I had a load of te teardrop shaped beads, but um, I had a clear out of my beading stash ooh, yonks ago. And I think I've got rid of them. So all I've got left is these three giant ovals, which are dichroic glass I've got no other use for them so I'm going to put those on as big raindrops I'm thinking of sort of hanging one in the middle and then two either side for them to drop down here and then I've gone through my little flowers let me move them around there and you might be able to see them better and I've kind of not quite but kind of matched up colors it's gonna be a lot of sticking it's gonna be a little bit of little bit of stitching but yeah, I'm just going to bejazz all the life out of this and make it all sparkly and shiny. And then I'm going to hang it up in my room. So let's start because there'll be a lot of waffling and not a lot of sticking. Um, I've also pulled out, I've got this tiny, tiny jar of tiny, tiny button um, stars. So I might just stick some of those on the grey bit. I don't know. We're going to play with this. It's something to do on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Because I haven't got a life. Right. Okay. And he's very kindly stitched it all together. And very cleverly as well. Because I can't even see where the stitches are. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how she's done it. But it's very good. And all the ends. It's just, it's just lovely. I love it. I know your son was taking the mickey on the live. Um, yeah, so I've got this clear. I don't know if it's fishing wire. It's something I've got in my stash. I've got no idea where it came from, but I just thought a clear um, thread would be in order to, and of course, trying to thread a needle. I've gone for a circular needle because I think trying to get a straight one in there, um, you know, into the wool would be a bit of a nightmare, actually. So I'm going to double it up. cat's gone i was going to do a load of sewing this morning and then she decided to take up residency on the um on the chair that i sew at <laughs> and it's a bit like sleeping dogs and you know i'm not gonna I'm not gonna disturb a sleeping cat because then she becomes a pain although i have fed her so hopefully that's her off to bed now for the rest of the day right let's get rid of that tail I hope you're all happy and lovely this morning. I say it's a beautiful sunny day. This looks like the centre. So I'm going to bury that knot in there and try and come out here. I hope that's not going to, sorry, might make the camera go weird. Right, so if I do the central one first, I'm thinking like that. What are you seeing? Oh, God, hang on. Let me pull you forward a bit more. Right. Maybe they need to hang down a little bit. 
yeah about there I don't know this might not work <laughs> about there the other thing I've got is a load of little um jingle bells which I thought would look all right as kind of like raindroppy type things um yeah I'm gonna have to have a unless I tie it unless I tie it there I don't really want two strings hanging down let's have a look going to proudly hang on my wall above my desk here right, I think that's the right length so let's just tie I'm trying to stay on screen I hope I am no I'm not because you might need to bejazzle your rainbow at some point okay this is why I'm filming <laughs> and I think Annie wanted to see what I was going to do with it anyway Right, um, it's not going to knot. It's not going to knot. How? These are mattress needles, by the way, if ever you need a curved needle. I think what I'll do is I'll put a small blob of glue on the end. Hopefully. That will hold. Let's get it on now and then. I shan't forget, and hopefully that will stick to the top of the bead as well. This is art glitter glue, it dries perfectly clear, so I'm not worried about it touching the bead. And it dries really fast as well, so. Right, one. I think that the weight of the beads, it'll, it'll hang straight. It's a bit wonky at the moment, but... Right, one. <laughs> Are you glad you tuned in? <sighs> oh, dear. That's going to be the perfect length for the next one. Yeah, I thought I'd get this done. I've had it a couple of days, and I thought, I, I need to, I need to do this now because it will just sit as a project on my desk forever and not get done and that's not fair because so i don't think it was easy to make do we do like that or do we do no i think we do like that right so about here yeah, about there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to lift it up. Go. Yeah, I'm sure the girls would love making one of these, my granddaughters, so I might go and see if I can find one. About there. We talked about on the um, on the live, we talked about putting clouds on and I thought I had um, a Sizzix die that cuts clouds. I might try and sort of free freehand draw some. And just cut them out of felt and maybe dangle them off the bottom there I don't know if I hadn't thought that through Paste it 
now. I just get the glue on before I forget. I'm not convinced this nylon stuff is knotting that well, but it's a leftover from my beading days, so I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> no idea. Looks about right. I think we'll have the next one about there. I was trying to remember what I had planned for these big drops. I know when I bought them I had a plan, but you know what that's like. Needle, there you are. It's probably something along the lines of a pendant necklace on a silver chain and um earrings but they would have been far too heavy for earrings so we stitch this one on and then we'll get to stick in all the little bits on I've got this stuff out the side here but I think it's going to look better with individual little things I suppose they could tuck down inside there. They're, um, oh blimey, I've undone my thing, hang on. <laughs> um, they could sort of, I could push them down into the, the ribs if you like, but we don't know. We shall play that one by ear. Sorry, I'm taking a very long time to do something really simple, aren't I? <sighs> Grab a cuppa. <laughs> As with all my videos. is fiddly come on no you both need to go through and you both need to behave yourselves getting right okay so what did i go uh one two three four five two three four five something like that Sorry, I'm waffling away to myself. Don't don't have a go at me that you can't hear me. I'm sorry. I just need you to go in a little bit. Hopefully, that'll be strong enough to hold those beads, but I think with the glue it'll be fine. I'm going to trim the threads when we get there. Right, okay, stress time over. That. right okay so these little flowers I was thinking because they're almost the right color you just put some of these on here of course they're thin and fiddly and a pain in the bum you are unraveling everywhere so you can go away Oh, 
that's pretty yeah i like that right okay good decision well done okay <laughs> i'm gonna start down here yes this is all super fiddly but i think it's going to be worth it It's nice to use some of this stuff actually this these little things have been in my stash for years years and years and years and this glue does dry clear so i'm not worried about it all showing and no i'm not worrying about spacing i'm just putting them on and they can do whatever they want to do it's just to make it look pretty yeah i'm definitely going to get one of these for the girls i think that would be great road trip to the range mind you i haven't got my car back yet my daughter's still got it so hopefully hers gets fixed today and then i get my car back a bit uneven but that's fine like i say i'm not going to worry too much um i think i'll just be fairly quick with this glue oh they're pretty i didn't even know they were that pretty they're sort of green no they I've got my pencil here, let me just do it properly, Susan. Come on. Oh, I like these little stars. See, I, I've never gone into that little bottle because I'm like, oh, they're too fiddly. But actually, on here, they look amazing. Another good shove into the glue. Hopefully they'll hold. Oh, that's pretty. Can you see? I think you will. Oh, blimey, I picked up the wrong thing there. So again, just going to randomly dot stuff around. Oh, no, stay, stay. Thank you. That's about half of them will fall off and I'll have to re-glue them, but we'll try it. It's really warm in my room today, so it's um, drying really quickly. And our glitter glue dries really quickly anyway, so these are dried. Maybe not be so ambitious and putting that many in, that many dots all at once. Ooh, go over a little bit. No, over. I think. They're incredibly lightweight, so it's not like you need to, you know, you're not sticking great big heavy embellishments. We'll just give these time to dry, and then um, I'll see about putting the bells on. I'm not sure about them, I must admit. But we shall have a look. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're finally getting some decent weather in the UK. That's all good. It's so pretty. I'll, I'll get you a close up. Really, really green and shiny and nice. Didn't even know I had them. Well, I knew I had them, but I didn't know they were this pretty, <laughs> basically. And I just have one ping off the table. Find that one later, I've no doubt. These are the little cheap things that you get. I don't know, did I get them in the works? I might have done. They're the really cheap kid things, you know. Never underestimate the kids' crafting area. I quite often raid it for bits and bobs. So. Come on, you need to turn over now. Thank you, that's better. Nearly there. Pretty. Blob on there. I say if they fall off, it's it's not a biggie, but it's making it look very pretty. Turn over, thank you. Well done. I'll put my pin in for a minute. There wasn't there. Right. Okay. I might pause you for a minute, let that all dry, and we'll see how we're going. Uh, cut some um, clouds, I think. Right. Back in a moment. I'll give you a close up. Don't worry. Right. I've temporarily hung it up on my desk. <laughs> the way they're jangling is cool. Um, I stuck some little um, bells on just to sort of look like raindrops. I thought they looked quite cute. And then let me give you a close up. Those little green stars are so pretty. Um, yeah, with the flowers, I did stick on some little flat back ones as well. I thought I'd just get on with it because it's probably bought the life out of you watching me do this. But um, yeah, it's going to hang in my window. So what I'll do is I'll hang it up and then you can see because these dichroic ones will be beautiful. They'll they'll really reflect the light. So let me hang it in my uh, window. I'm going to hang it from the blind temporarily for now and then um, it can go somewhere else. I'll be back in a sec. Right, I've had to hang it on the wall because it was too bright. <laughs> So, uh, but doesn't it look pretty? Oh, it's so cute. Thank you, Annie. I don't know what's happened to you. They're not meant to be the same length. I'll sort them out. But anyway, there we are. All beady jazzled. They're pretty. I love those little stars. I'm really pleased I found those. Yeah, I added some more of the little amber ones next to the flowers. You can just see there. And then that last one just needed a little bit. It's gone a bit wonky because they were on a strip. So 
Eh, it's fine. It's a wonky rainbow. Once it's straight, no, once it's straight. So there we are. It's all done. I found my old banner. <laughs> I thought I'd put it up there as well. Let me show you how tight it's going to jiggle. Ooh. So that's it. That's what I'm going to see. It's an incredibly bright day outside today, so. But yeah, there it is, Annie. Pride of place. Told you it would be pride of place. Love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye.